Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the air handler housing and the seal kit in the Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a square bead number two screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of side cutters, a degreaser, utility knife, plastic mallet, chisel, Phillips, and a flat disc screwdriver, a 3 8 open end wrench, pair of needle nose pliers, and the putty knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new air handler housing and a seal kit. The air handler housing and the seal kit is located in the ice maker compartment behind the ice maker and the ice bin. It covers the ice maker evaporator coil, the defrost heater, and the auger motor. The main reason to replace the ice maker evaporator housing is if it's cracked by the ice buildup on the ice maker evap coil due to an air leak. To get to the part, we need to open both French doors. Now we need to pull out the ice container. Next, I'm going to remove this front cover. We need to take a couple of screws out. One is right here, one is at the bottom. So I'm using that uh, number two square bead screwdriver. And I'm going to take the screws out. All right, now I'm going to remove the cover and uh, pull out the bottom and slide it down. Next, we're going to take out the single quarter inch screw here. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to drop down the housing. Next, I'm going to disconnect these two plugs. Uh, I'm going to press down on the locking tab here. Pull the part in the second one. We got right here. And now we can slide the ice maker. Just grab it underneath here and uh, slide it forward. So when we drop down the ice maker, we'll have uh, two zip ties that hold, hold that uh, harness. One in the middle right there and one at the back over there. So use the side cutters to clip them off. We're gonna lift up the harness and slide out the ice maker. Now we need to remove the ice maker container, the outer shell, the housing, and uh, I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. We've got one, two, and uh, three screws here. Now I'm gonna slide the housing out. And uh, we need to put these plugs through the opening. And now we can remove the housing. To remove the auger drive bar, I'm gonna spray some degreaser on the shaft. So I'm gonna help it to get uh, loosen up a little bit. To unscrew it, we need to turn it clockwise. I'm gonna use this uh, little chisel. You can use anything you want. You can use a screwdriver or just metal bar and that uh, plastic mallet. Break it loose and unscrew it. Next, we need to remove this uh, housing assembly. It's held in place by one, two, and three quarter inch screws. So using a quarter inch nut driver, we're gonna take out the screws. And now we're gonna remove this housing. Don't let it drop all the way because we need to unplug that uh, harness first at the back. Right there. All right, so locking tabs on the sides. We're gonna squeeze them. 
and pull the plug out. All right, so I'm gonna bring it to the table and, uh, and turn it over. And uh, now I'm going to use the quarter inch nut driver and we're gonna take out one, two, and if you peel this off, three screws, the whole quarter inch. So we're gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna turn it over. Here's our motor. Next, I'm going to remove this uh, connectors from the terminals. And now we need to take off this single screw. So we using a quarter shot driver. And it's gonna be our ground wire. And uh, now we're gonna put this auger motor aside. And uh, next we're going to take out this uh, yolk solenoid and yolk assembly. So I'm gonna turn it over. And we're gonna use the same quarter inch nut driver. We're gonna take out these two screws. And I'm gonna turn it over. And guess what? The solenoid is right there. Okay, so. Uh, we're gonna remove these uh, wires and use the flat disc driver. We're gonna prime off. Be careful, don't poke your finger. Don't get excited. And uh, again, we're gonna put it aside. And now we need to take out those two Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna unscrew them. And now I'm gonna disconnect this. Little plug here. There's a tab. Press it and pull it apart. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. We're going to place it through this grill and press out the motor. Do not press on these blades, just you try that uh, frame. All right. And I'm gonna turn it over again. And there's the motor. I'm gonna place it aside. And uh, now we're gonna take this stopper using a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna take out this screw. I'm gonna place the screw in so it won't get lost. Put it together. And uh, one last thing we need to strip this uh, old case from is wire harness. I'm going to use the uh, flat blade screwdriver. Going to press that plug in into the seam. Push it in. And we're gonna slide it out. Again, we're gonna put it aside. And this can be used in a recycling bin. This is the old air handler housing next to the new air handler housing and the seal kit. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So this is our new air handler housing. And uh, our first step would be placing a harness through this uh, cutout right there. So we're gonna put the plug in. We're probably gonna have to force it slightly, push it through, work it out. All right, and I'm gonna pull it. And then we're gonna pull this plug out. Make sure that it covers all the openings. Press it in. Okay. After we install the harness, let's place it into this uh, groove here. And put it aside out of the way. Now we're going to install this uh, solenoid. This is ice cube solenoid. 
Uh, it goes in this way. The terminal is facing inside the housing, and now uh, we're going to slide this yoke first. And then pull it, hold it, turn it around, and I'm going to secure it with a couple of quarter inch screws. And to use the quarter inch nut driver, let's place the stopper on. All right, so we've got uh, this uh, slot here, and it goes over these two little. Uh, shoulders and I'm gonna use the uh, Phillips screwdriver I'm gonna tighten that screw that one I didn't take out and now we're going to connect uh, the solenoid so I'm gonna install these two wires that with the long plastic connectors insulation on this uh, solenoid it doesn't matter which contact goes where as long as they are on and next I'm going to install the auger motor and the housing goes out and uh, we place it this way we got three holes mounting holes here one two and three and we've got uh, three holes in the housing and there's a shaft goes into the big opening so prepare quarter inch screws and put it into the magnet nut driver quarter inch nut driver and I'm gonna turn it over Hold on to it, and we're going to install one screw here. Don't tighten it yet. Another one. We need to be able to move slightly. I mean, we cannot move it a lot, but just if we need to. And the third one. Now we can tighten them all. And turn it over. And now I'm going to install these uh, ground wire, quarter inch screw, quarter inch nut driver. All right. Next, I'm going to connect the two wires to the auger motor. And again, it doesn't matter which one. And this is a little longer, so it will stretch more. So we're going to use this one for the far lead. And then the other one. Okay. Next, we're going to install the fan motor. So this is our fan motor. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, utility knife. And we're going to remove this uh, old insulation. All right. So now we're going to take this naked fan motor. And we're going to dress it up into this brand new seal we're gonna place this harness inside and cover it with the new seal make sure that all the corners are mounted properly over like that all right so we're gonna install the uh, fan motor onto this uh, foam grommet uh, the part with the label facing out here so we're gonna place the harness into the groove here squeeze it in all right so after we sit it properly the uh, fan motor onto this uh, foam grommet we're gonna place it in goes in this way so uh, uh, this uh, wire facing the divider I'm gonna start it up and uh, about that far all right, I'm gonna plug this uh, in now a little tricky but uh, Trust me, it's doable. Gonna hold on that uh, part of the plug here, and uh, 
insert the top. Tug on it, so make sure it's locked. And now I'm gonna press the foam in all the way, so this uh, tab on the side will lock over the top. We're now gonna turn over the assembly. All right, so we got these uh, two seals that we need to install. One goes right in here, and the second one goes right in there. So I'm gonna start with the small one. I'm gonna peel off this uh, protective film from the back. And I'm gonna glue it on. And the second one, I peel it off. And place it right in this place here. Let's turn the assembly over. And uh, we're going to install this, this gasket on. So the gasket goes this way. And uh, we've got the here groove and the back of it that goes around the edge. So I'm going to start with uh, one of the corners here. And then here we've got this also that's going to be inserted into this opening here. Okay, check around and <clears throat> make sure it's uh, seated properly. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over again. And check on this side. Next, we're going to install the ogre drive bar. Place it on a shaft and turn it counterclockwise. I'm going to use the uh, screwdriver to tighten it. Okay, and it's ready to go in. But before installing this, we need to put a uh, evaporator cover in inside the fridge. So, so this is it. We've got uh, this uh, aluminum foil. I uh, pre-cut. Uh, six pieces and about uh, about an inch and a half two inches uh, wide so we're gonna uh, go inside and install this one instead of the old one but before doing that we need to cut zip ties uh, that are installed on the uh, evaporator all right so we're back into the fridge and uh, we are working on this size maker evaporator we need to use the cutters uh, to cut off uh, four zip ties that holds the heater to the web coil. Let's start it. And we're going to remove them. We've got this uh, two pieces. Uh, this is uh, inside and this is outside this is a uh, shield heat shield so before we can install this uh, assembly we need to mount this uh, clip here into this cutout this is for our power plug so we've got here at the back of this clip this uh, plastic shape lock and we're going to match with the cutout insert it in and turn it clockwise and it locks as you can hear this little uh, quarter inch overhanging is is normal so put it aside before installing uh, this heat shield we're going to install this uh, aluminum foil tape on the left side here to cover this uh, openings here this is for the batter sealing so uh, Peel it off and uh, I'm going to place it in. Don't peel it off completely because it's going to be hard to insert it in there. So I'm going to have a little uh, piece of paper here sticking out and I'm going to slide it in. And uh, attach the top 
and then we're going to grab the paper and pull it down and at the same time we're going to attach the foil all right now we're going to move on to placing this rear portion in just put it behind the wrap coil and slide it up as far as it goes keep the plug out of the way so push it up the heater should touch this bottom portions here now the front piece comes in and uh, if you look from the back there is a couple of uh, posts here so this is uh, the support which will hang on the evaporator I'm gonna place it inside okay and now we're going to install this uh, little pieces of uh, aluminum foil tape we got six and okay, place it on the top and wrap it around and the one in the center here in the middle and wrap it around and one at the bottom all right now the opposite side okay and now we're going to install this plug into this uh, holder it goes from the bottom and if we need to we can push up the whole evaporator and press it in all right so now the moment of truth we're going to install this housing with the, all the motors and the new gasket we're going to start with plugging this in into this plug so and bring it in and plug it in then there's a drain hole right behind this uh, cover so this tube half tube goes right in the drain so we need to place it in there all right so it's in and I'm gonna bring it to the back wall we get three quarter inch screws and I'm gonna mount it exactly the same way that the old one was all right so we are at the back of the fridge and we need to pull out this green water inlet line this is our ice maker inlet line so it's part of the kit so I'm going to use a 3 8 open end wrench to press down the locking collar here on this coupler and push it down and pull out the tube now I'm going to pull out this um, tube from the zip tie and uh, now we need to go back inside the fridge so we can pull out the inlet line so this is it it's uh, our filling tube I'm gonna use the needle nose pliers I'm gonna grab it here and I'm gonna try to pull it in this is our new ice maker water inlet tube we need to insert it into this opening um, before doing that I suggest that uh, we're gonna put a little bit of soap in this area because this is thicker and it's gonna make it much easier to slide into this hole all right so I'm gonna put a few drops of liquid soap on that paper towel here and I'm gonna put it on the tube and I'm gonna insert it in and let's feed it into the opening it 
the rest are going to pull from the outside. All right, so we're going to pull this uh, green tube. Don't pull this clear tube. And uh, we're going to insert it into the coupling. All right. That was final inch. All right, I'm going to slide it into that uh, zip tie. And we're going to place it into the coupling here. Okay. Here is how the tip of the water inlet tube looks like after we pulled it in completely. And now we need to go back to the table and do some alterations on the ice maker housing. So we need to remove this tape and this old installation pad. I'm going to use the putty knife. I'm going to peel this off. Peel this film off. We go back to our kit, and this is a little installation pad that uh, was packed in there. Remove the centerpiece, and I'm going to peel this uh, protection cover. Be careful, don't peel that uh, film with the glue in it. Turn it over and place it over that opening. And now I'm going to use this aluminum tape and we're going to place it the way that uh, plastic plastic tape was. I'm going to measure it. Approximately goes right there. And I'm going to tear it off. I'm going to peel the paper off. And we're going to place this one on. So one more thing we need to do. We need to get rid of this seal. We don't need it because we have a new one. And uh, I'm going to peel it off. And again, I'm going to help myself with the putty knife. I'm going to clean all this uh, extras. Next, we're going to install the ice maker. And we're going to start with uh, placing a couple of zip ties that are supplied in the kit. I'm just going to zip it slightly, just like on the first position. Just like that, keep it in place. And uh, we're going to move over here. And the same thing here. Just put it through. And now I'm going to put it up. I'm going to slide the connector in. And uh, over here. All right, so and, uh, I'm going to bring it up. Harness right there in the groove. So I'm going to place the harness underneath here. All right, and I'm going to pull on the zip ties here. I'm going to use the side cutters. I'm going to cut this extra off. and put it down so it wouldn't be on the way. All right, I'm going to install uh, ice maker into the housing. This uh, we're going to fit in and lift it up. And at this point, we need to pull out this harness because we're going to place it into the cutout. Slide it on, and now time to put the, this harness in, both plugs. Pull it in, and push it back all the way. It's going to be a little hard because the uh, new gasket would be on the way. I'm going to 
press it in and match the hole here on the side. I'm going to install the quarter inch screw using a quarter inch nut driver. I need to press it in and up hard because uh, the thick new gasket which pushing uh, the housing out. So it'll take a few minutes before you probably can align the holes and install the screw. Then we need to put uh, two on the top. All right, so we're gonna install the ice maker. As you can see, there's uh, four locking pins on the top and there's uh, four cutouts on the ice maker itself. So I'm going to lift it up and uh, align it and push it back to lock. All right, it's locked. Now we need to connect these uh, plugs here. I've got uh, 6 and 12. All right, so I'm not going to bring in and install the cover box. So we've got the, this two tabs that are going to interlock above the ice maker so we're going to bring it in lift it up all right so make sure the harness is right in that then right corner cut out so it's not sticking outside the box so this this little tab on the top slides into the groove like that and now we're going to secure it with a quarter inch screw here All right, so I'm gonna install this uh, front cover. Uh, we have this tab at the back right there and uh, it's gonna lock over this tab. So what we do is bring it here like that and slide it up. And we're gonna secure this uh, front cover with two screws. I'm using that uh, number two square bead screwdriver and now again sliding in the ice container and now when we're done we can close the door plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com for any of your future appliance repair projects please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.